start instrument transformers and potentiometers. What is instrument transformer? The transformers which are used in conjunction with the meters to extend the range of the meters to extend the range of watt meter, ammeter, voltmeter in conjunction with that we are using instrument transformers. Instrument transformers are two types. One is instrument transformers are two types. One is current transformer and potential transformer. First we go for potentiometers. What is potentiometer? Potentiometer is an instrument that is used to measure the unknown voltage. Unknown voltage is compared with the standard voltage by that potentiometer gives the unknown voltage value. Potentiometer is an instrument designed to me measure the unknown voltage by comparing with it unknown voltage. A known voltage may be obtained from battery that is standard cell. Standard cell. What is potentiometer? Which type of instrument? Potentiometer comes under null type instruments. When null condition obtained in galvanometer, we are taking the readings. Hence, potentiometer is known as null type instrument. Measurement of using comparison methods and high degree of accuracy. Absolute instrument it is also known as. They are used to calibrate the secondary instruments like voltmeter, ammeter, wattmeter like that. That means potentiometer used to calibrate PMMC voltmeter, PMMC ammeter or wattmeter, whatever the secondary instrument. Those instruments are calibrated by the use of potentiometer. Potentiometer make the use of one galvanometer, one standard cell. After doing standardization, what is meant by standardization of potentiometer? Standardization of potentiometer is very helpful by taking the direct reading from the potentiometer. It is the process of adjusting working current. So as to match the voltage drop accord slide wire against the standard reference source is known as standardization. The basic slide wire potentiometer while if you understand you can easily understand the standardization. The process of adjusting the working current so as to match the voltage drop across potentiometer slide wire is against a standard reference source. When the voltage drop across slide wire is equal to unknown voltage then the standard cell voltage if it is equal then it is known as standardization. Simply we can say that standardization means making the potentiometer direct reading. Direct re directly we can take the reading from the potentiometer hence it is known as standardization. To understand potentiometer extensively used for voltmeter summator calibration we have to understand basic potentiometer circuit what is slide wire basic slide wire potentiometer it is a slide wire the principle of operation of all potentiometers based on the slide wire potentiometer one sliding contact or one slide wire of 200 centimeter length will be used in potentiometer design it is not a potentiometer can be obtained from basic slide wire potentiometer it is it has consist of one slide wire, one sliding contact, one switch and galvanometer, unknown voltage source and standard cell. When the switch is at position 1, initially standard cell will be connected. By adjusting this rheostat, working rheostat, a certain current will flow through this slide wire. That current we are measuring, after that the switch will be placed to unknown EMF. When unknown EMF E1 equal to E, then the standard cell voltage equal to unknown voltage. The process of finding where the, by adjusting this slide wire will be position at 50 or 100, like that. By adjusting the slide wire, we are obtaining the null condition in galvanometer. That's why it is known as null type instruments. Null condition means zero condition. When the switch is at unknown EMF, if the galvanometer shows zero condition then the slide wire voltage drop equal to unknown voltage the slide wire voltage drop equal to unknown voltage therefore by taking by taking the reading of slide wire we are measuring the unknown emf hence it is null condition type instrument the theory about this totally simply 
slide wire has uniform cross section and uniform resistance along the length what is meant by standardization process the standardized portion explained here standardization a portion process of explained now in this the standard cell has voltage 1.0186 volts and switch is thrown to calibrate position the sliding contact is placed at 101.86 cm because the 200 cm long of slide wire it is when the switch is positioned at 101.86 cm this voltage drop equal to slide wire voltage drop now rh is now adjusted to vary the working current when the when the galvanometer shows null condition then the standardization over at that position what is the total current 10 milliamps because of this uh, slide wire potentiometer slide wire potentiometer has larger scale that is uh, 200 centimeter long it is very awkwardly hence we are using Crompton's potentiometer DC potentiometers and AC potentiometer two types AC and DC first we go for DC DC potentiometers are Crompton's only Crompton's potentiometer the slide wire of this potentiometer 200 centimeter long it is very huge wire and seems to be awkwardly the instrument will be hence the slide wire 200 centimeter long twisted into two parts one is 15 steps another one is 100 centimeter one slide wire it is a dial switch and dial now you can see the Crompton's potentiometer it has uh, this uh, dial switch with 15 steps we are using we are using we are using 15 steps uh, dial switch and circular slide wire because a uh, slide wire of 200 cm long it is, seems to be very awkwardly hence we have provided circular slide wire for Crompton's potentiometer it consists similarly basic slide wire how it works same principle we are applying for Crompton's potentiometer unknown EMF standard cell standard cell also required for standardization purpose the standard cell voltage will be like this the procedure will be same but a slide wire not 200 centimeters long instead of that we converted into a circular slide wire of resistance 10.2 and range will be 0 0.1 in, in terms of millivolts it is in volts we can easily do standardization or measurement on non emf how to measure by using crompton's potentiometer there is a lab equipment lab experiment also lab equipment as crompton's mostly in all laboratories we have the crompton's potentiometer how exactly it works by the circuit and you can see the crompton's potentiometer in laboratory playlists or you can see in description also how the potentiometer works Crompton's potentiometer what are the applications of potentiometer simply not only measuring the voltage they can also use it to measure the voltages they can also use it to measure the voltages currents and resistance also can be measured these are the but normal procedure now what is the standard application of potentiometer to measure the unknown EMF by measuring the unknown emf we are calculating resistance current power unknown unknown resistance also can be calculated by the use of standard resistance by the use of standard resistance we can calculate by the application of standard resistance standard resistance means the resistance value which we know very well standard resistance it is fine adjustment coerce adjustment to adjust the working current two rheostats we are using one ammeter will be connected calibration of ammeter 